In this video we are going to present to you the most prominent differences between Confluence Server and Confluence Cloud. We will start with some navigational changes, then the biggest part of this video will be covering all of the things around page creation and we will finish it off with general and technical notes. Let's go! The first thing worth pointing out is that there are changes in the top menu. The two elements I want to draw your attention to are Home and Recent tabs. The Home tab is the one that we are looking at right now and it will contain the spaces that you've contributed to in the past and also shortcuts to recently worked on elements or your unfinished work or favorite elements. The same categories will be available in the Recent drop-down over here with the possibility of filtering them by title. There are also some important changes that have been applied to the Create Page screen. Let's create a new page. The most important area of page creation process is on the right side. It contains the list of templates that allow you to quickly populate your empty page with some data and if you hover your mouse over any one of those, you can have a quick sneak peek into what will be inside the template. If you click on the chosen template, and I will pick the brainstorming over here, your page will immediately get populated with all the data that has been inside the template. If you want to, you can also import your templates from external sources. Now, looking at the main page body, you will notice that there is a simplified top bar that doesn't contain your Confluence main menu anymore. That's good, no additional distractions and more screen space, right? The table edit options are also a little bit better in Confluence Cloud. You can access the general options of your table over here, but you also have a separate drop-down for every cell containing some interesting functions. This button over here will also allow you to decide how wide your table is supposed to be. You can even go full wide if you want to. A similar option is also available on the level of the whole page, so if you want to make your page full wide, this is the way to do it. To access the predefined macros list, use the slash key and then choose the macro that you want to use or keep writing to filter the list. Using the macro, I've added a graphic element over here, and now I can easily access the options of that element, allowing me to align it correctly or wrap the text around it, but I also can resize the element with automatic snap to line functionality. Confluence has an extensive list of available macros. The one we want to mention to you is Jira Roadmap, which allows you to embed the roadmap feature from your Jira into a Confluence page. It is worth mentioning that even though in Confluence Server you can copy a page and all its child pages and also delete a page and all its child pages, this option is not available in Confluence Cloud. Pages can only be copied and deleted individually. Therefore, if I go to this page and choose an option to get rid of it, I will be informed that the sub-page will become a child of overview so it doesn't go away with its parent. Last but not least, let's talk about some technical and general differences. In terms of external user management, you can't link Atlassian cloud products to another cloud or server site for user management. Instead, integrate your existing G Suite user directory with your Atlassian cloud site, which makes domain and user management more flexible and manageable. There might be differences between certain apps in Confluence Server and cloud versions. It has to be checked individually, especially when you're migrating between these systems. You cannot configure an SMTP server for outgoing notifications. You can configure Confluence to send emails on behalf of your domain though. The last difference that we want to highlight is the PDF export language support. Confluence Cloud currently only supports one font at a time while exporting. Installing a new font will replace the default one or current one, therefore if you're working in a multinational environment and want to export a page in German and then another one in Turkish, you will not be getting a good result. These are of course not all the differences that can be found between server and cloud versions. We focused on those that will allow you to feel comfortable while switching between the tools and also on new features which will help you get the most out of Confluence. Thank you very much. 
we have the right expertise to handle your project. Discuss your needs with your C Prime sales representative or go to cprime.com slash Atlassian.